Hello everyone. This is Revise and Edit. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my first video. This channel is going to focus on issues, queries, anything related to Revit and I'm primarily going to look at things that I have personally encountered while using Revit for about 3 years. I am a student right now so I'm still learning and I wish to be able to learn more by making this YouTube channel and by seeing what you guys say about these things because for today's topic I have chosen rooms and why some errors are happening in those rooms the warning signs that you get from those rooms are pretty vague from Revit so without further talking I'll just quickly get into Revit so I've placed five examples in front of me and five things that keep making me get that warning sign and how I've dealt with it. So please leave me a comment in the video if you have any other ways, any other errors that you have encountered and you have dealt with them in another way and I'll just be very delightful to know that people are so insightful in Revit these days. So let's say that uh, I'll just use a room tag and show you that the room is supposed to have an interface like that so let's say that uh, I'll just do it again so let's say that I'm trying to place a room and when it's not being able to be placed it shows an interface like this and when it is it grabs all along the room that is going it is going to be placed on it shows the area in different units and it shows the name of that room so I can just quickly edit this and make it a living room but let's say that one error that I usually think which is very basic error but I still get this sometimes and it's because I'm using a room that is not enclosed and this warning is telling me only that that the room is not in a properly enclosed region so to fix this I'll just make the room properly enclosed and the room is working. I think that's fine. That is a very common error and many people are able to deal with it easily because it's not really a big thing, right? Well, I'll just get into the second example. Second thing is about this. Why am I getting this error? The walls are fully here, right? There's no gap in between. Well, there's another thing that you have to consider that if the walls are room mounting. So when you select a wall, you can get into the properties of that wall and see this room mounting. It has been turned off for all of those walls. What does that mean is the room is not considering these walls. So it is considering nothing. The room needs something which is room mounting. So these walls were room mounting. This is enabled for all the four walls. That is why the room is considering this, this as a limit. So I'll just quickly go through here and turn them on. As I've turned all of them on, the room tag is working. So if I were to turn one of them off now, the room is not in a properly enclosed region. I'm getting the same warning. So maybe you have encountered this and maybe you did not know what is happening. Just try to look at this property and you can fix this error easily. And the third error that I usually have while using rooms is, well, I try to place a room and it's not working. Then I follow the tip number two but it's room bounding then I look at all the other walls they're all room bounding so you have to look at it in a different perspective for this example well I'll just tell you first thing that the base offset is wrong here but in the plan it looks like it is correct right so if for the if the base offset is 500 mm off even if it is 1mm off, the room is not going to work. 
because the space right here let me just take it into 100 because you cannot see a 1 mm right here so this is a opening the room is not fully enclosed and the property of this error that the room has to be enclosed so you can quickly fix that you can just take this and make the same level for all these but what if you are working in a terrain and you have to use rooms but you're not able to use rooms because they are not on the same level the base offset is not on the same level so I'll just tell you this like I usually do this for that so let me just make it a different offset for all of them I'll make it that hundred I'll make this 500 I'll just make this thousand I'll just make this 1500 oh so 1500 is a too much <laughs> I'll just make it I'll just make it thousand as well okay so in 3d it looks like it's not gonna work but you can use a option here that is room separator and I think you must have used room separator before so okay I'm getting some problem here yeah so if I were to use room separator I can basically trace around the edges of that room in the plan and the room will consider it as a room so it is now a bounding space so what happened here is even if I were to delete these walls well you won't delete these walls when you are making this room but if I were to delete this these blue lines are considering it as a room so increasing this will increase the area of the room only use this when you really have to because this is not a proper way to use this I'll take you in the next example and tell you what you should use the room separator for well it's pretty obvious because room separator in the name is to separate rooms so I'll just control set right here and for the next example I am showing you how you can place a room two rooms in one enclosed space while using room separator so if I were to try to do that without the room separator it is going to show that the multiple rooms are in the same enclosed region and you cannot have that so it is a redundant room redundant means it's not going to work it's not showing any value so to make it work I'll just trace the area that I want let's say I want a 3 meter by about two and a half meter so now this room and this room are separate and these are showing the values according to that their area according to their area right pretty simple and room separator is pretty much used in this category so that is one of those things that you can do with that and the last thing that I'll just show is about how you can uh, show porches or balconies easily well first I'll tell you to not do this but you can try with the starting of this uh, you can place a room and you can start with tracing the edges of that balcony or that porch with the room separator and you can easily understand that now the room is working and these red edges are showing the area of that room pretty simple so these are some ways that you can utilize the room separator and the room option in Revit and the errors that I showed you today are what I've encountered so if there are more I'll be happy to learn please drop them in the comments I'll look at them thank you see you on the next one